These are the models that represent the three different kinds of muscle tissue. You're also responsible for looking at the microscope slide and being able to find the features in the microscope slide. So this first model here is skeletal muscle. How do we know it's skeletal? Well, the cells are long and cylindrical with no branches. They have multiple nuclei that are on their outside edges and it has striations, this banded pattern right here. So that lets me know that this is skeletal muscle, which is the only voluntary kind of muscle. So let's just look at what we have and then we turn the model around so we can see different parts of it. So up here we can actually see where the axon comes down and this is the synaptic terminal and the gray part would be on the muscle side, so that would be the motor end plate. And we were looking for a connective tissue covering to be the sarco, excuse me, the um, endomyceum. And so on this model, the place you would see the endomyceum is kind of limited. It's ah, turned upside down on the bottom. Do you see that white with the blue? That would be the endomyceum. That would be an unlikely question for this model, but it's on your list, so I wanted to let you know. Okay, again, these are nuclei of the skeletal muscle cell the striations, and then that patch would be the endomyceum. Okay, this one is cardiac muscle. I know it's cardiac because although they are cylindrical cells, they also branch. You can see how they split off. Each cell only has one nucleus and it is in the middle of the cell and not on the outside edges. And there are also striations in cardiac muscle like there are in skeletal muscle. So cardiac and skeletal are the only ones that are striped. Now we have a new feature in this muscle right here and here, these dark black lines. Those are the intercalated discs and they are only in cardiac muscle. So when you see these black lines crossing like this on the model or in the microscope slide, you know that you are dealing with cardiac muscle. This muscle is smooth muscle, and notice it's way different from the other two. The cells are spindle shaped where they go narrow, wide, narrow. There is one nucleus in the middle. There is no striations at all, okay? And each one of these, again, has a little patch of endomyceum on the bottom. I probably wouldn't test you on the endomyceum on the model. Okay, so there you go. Those are the three models of the muscle types.